What's happening, fellas? Check it out. We're here with Metal Genius Joe. What's happening, Joe? Not much. <laughs> I've, I've been working with Joe since, uh, well, since we started the project here almost 10 years ago. Most of the, the major metal artwork is, uh, like I said, most of the artwork that's been done here has been done by Joe. Certainly all the metal artwork. And he's standing next to Ivan, um, and he's holding the latest creation. Joe, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up the detail work here, but this is, uh, it weighs about eight pounds. It's a Viking. Well, let's, let's let you explain exactly what it is. It's the Viking uh, hammer of Thor. And these uh, symbols on the sign are the Viking symbols of power. It's a beautiful piece. It is absolutely awesome. I saw that on your Facebook page yesterday, and I think it was on your Instagram page too. Um, how, do, how do people view your artwork that you've created? Um, is it mostly on the Instagram page? I have Instagram, it's Metal Genius Joe, and my website's metalgeniusjoe.com is the best way to contact me. And Joe does a lot of these pieces, like I think you were inspired by a friend of yours who's into Viking Norseman uh, history and lore, and you made that as a replica of an actual original one. Yes. But you, you do you do con, con, uh, consigned work, yes. and you also do your own projects. Like this frog here, Ivan, that was a project you did, labor of love, inspiration, and we'll get into that a little bit later. We'll come back to this frog, but let's show them some of the other pieces you've done here. The frog happens to be one of our favorites, and a lot of people come here and end up sitting on that, getting their picture taken. And I guess Moses says frogs are good luck. Those of you who have been following us know uh, Joe is from Tallinn, Connecticut, and uh, has lived here for a long time, and he's created some really cool artwork. Joe, can you stand next to the dragonfly just so they can get a perspective of how big this thing is? How, how tall are you, Joe? Six one. He's six, he's six foot one, and this thing is... It's like an eight foot wingspan around there. Eight foot wingspan, it's gotta be, what, nine feet long? Yeah, somewhere around there. It's massive. And this is right at the entry of the museum as you're pulling us mounted on a pole. And it's absolutely a conversation piece. I mean, it's not something you expect to see every day. So let's, let's go show them the, the giant spider. Guys, this is another piece that people come by all the time to get their picture ta picture take, taken. It is massive. Um, we had six guys struggle to, to lift this thing and i think we ended up having eight guys because it weighs over about a thousand pounds and we moved it around the museum to a couple different spots it seems to be a favorite around halloween joe this is a is it like a black widow or uh, black widow i use the eye pattern from the jumping spiders uh black widow rear end and just a combination of a couple spiders that kind of make it my own you know so a lot of the metal that you use is recycled also repurposed metal isn't, isn't that correct yeah i use a little bit of everything this was all new stock here uh this stuff here was from the scrap yard it depends on what i'm working on you know i know the, the cost of metal has, has gotten ridiculously expensive like everything else but uh just a beautiful piece this has been uh, taken a lot a lot of pictures people have their pictures taken with this one we're right in front of the museum here right across the street we actually own this lot over here also where we do a lot of the motorcycle testing we're on the banks of the hockenham river it's actually a beautiful spot sometimes we have people uh come from out of state and uh truck drivers and or rvs in the park over here there's probably room for six or seven tractor trailers there's like an acre and a half but anyways it's a cool spot and it lends itself well with the eight, circa 1814 mill restoration that we did here the artwork is is really unique like the place so it was a no-brainer to have Joe bring some of his stuff here. Joe, tell us about this really cool piece. Uh, this is probably like the third uh, sailfish skeleton I did, swordfish, and I do them all different. Um, it looks really great up here on the post. What uh, are the dimensions of this piece? I'm not exactly sure of the length on this side. It's over six, probably around seven or eight feet. Yeah, it's all of that for sure. I have a six foot wingspan. That's got, I, I bet it's, it's, it's eight or nine feet across. It's massive. And uh, really cool detail work on the eyes and the fins. And it's definitely a conversation piece as all your artwork has been. Guys, J Joe's six foot tall, the six foot uh, wingspan himself, six one. This thing's over 20 feet wide. This was donated to the museum by Joe. I don't know how long it took him to make it, but you can see there's a ridiculous amount of, of detail on this thing. And it's a massive piece of metal. I, I forget because it was years ago we bought it here and um, it's getting a, quite a patina on it 
from being out outside, but it's it's a badass piece. What can you tell us about this one, Joe? Uh, I started with the head, but I really had no, I had the upscale. I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. This is when I just started out, so it was kind of everything was trial and error and it ended up being really super huge. But one of my very, very, very early works. How many years have you been uh, crafting uh, metal metal artwork, Joe? Um, probably since uh, 2008 or so. I started very, very part time. In the last couple years, it's gone full time. Four years, uh, 14 years. You've been you've been crafting metal, um, even at 1,200 hours a year, which is a conservative estimate. That's over 15,000 hours of metal crafting. And they say you have to to master anything to become a master. You need 10,000 hours. And you've gotten to the point where your artwork is getting more and more intricate. Like these pieces, these early pieces here, the um, detailing you can see has gotten much more extreme on the newer pieces. Like the uh, um, the dragon that you did is off the hook. It, it, now Joe has a private museum in his house of, of some of his favorite pieces that aren't really for sale. And I believe the dragon's in your museum still? Yes. So jo Joe's dragon and uh, the octopus are just absolutely off the hook. Um, they're smaller scale projects, but the detailing is absolutely ridiculous. So if you wanna have something like this made, uh, Joe can craft just about anything out of metal. Nice. Yeah, guys, R60 slash six, Jimmy just rebuilt the top end on it. This is the artwork we do here. You're right, that's it. Guys, if you wanna check out some of Joe's latest, finest work, go to Metal Genius Joe on Instagram and show them, show them a couple of these pieces. The detail work is just off the hook. Like I said, I'm not sure that this is, this is gonna pick them up, but this is out of metal. And Joe is, is, is you, that's a massive dragonfly. Uh, or a praying, um, praying mantis. Praying mantis, I mean, sorry. <laughs> You're praying hit. mantis. Show, show, show them the, look at that. What else you wanna see? Which one is this? Is this this is the first, the biggest frog you ever made, right? This is Joe. This is a, a twelve footer. Yes. Well, that was Bruno, right? Yeah. And we have Ivan, right? Yeah. Show show him the dragon. The dragon is absolutely ridiculous. This thing is pictures do not do justice when you see this in person in three D. It is absolutely freaking ridiculous. Joe, how many hours do you think you put into crafting that bad boy? Because that is absolutely next level. Oh God. That's Close to 200 or so. It's wow. absolutely stunning. So ju just to just to give you guys an idea, we bill out at 90 bucks an hour. What we do, um, if you if you were paying normal metal working rates, that's probably a twenty thousand dollars sculpture. Um, there uh, and Joe sells his work for that one's not for sale, but a lot of his work is is sold for a fraction of what you could hire someone to do because while well, it's a labor of love, he's doing this because he loves it, and probably like most artists. After he dies, this stuff's gonna be worth millions. <laughs> Don't die anytime soon, but this was on display in the library. Uh, he's done a lot of work that's been on display in libraries and uh, um, town squares and here at the New England Motorcycle Museum. Joe. Follow Metal Genius Joe at Instagram. He's got 25,600 followers. I'm sure when he gets to 50,000, it's gonna blow up. And if you want something done, you wanna get on his to-do list. Guys, I had to ask Joe, I gotta ask you a from the heart question. As an artist, what do you wanna do for the next three to five years? What's gonna light your fire, make you wake up early and stay up late and, and do your best work? Uh, I wanna get into doing more large scale public artwork, works um, everything from A to Z. And I, I really don't, uh, too many favorite types of pieces. I just like building everything, you know? So, you, you, so large scale outdoors projects, like municipal projects, like yeah. uh, big stuff. And you've done the, the, the multi thousand pound 12 foot frog. You've done the, 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 the 12 foot giant spider. Um, can the detail work be as fine on some of the smaller pieces? Cause I would think you'd, you'd have thousands of hours in, in, in creating a massive one of that intricacy. Yes, uh, the only thing uh, to take in consideration is one's budget. I can build anything. So, so guys, uh, if you want to do a large scale outdoor project, Joe will take smaller projects, but that's what he liked to do. If you have a big project, give him a call. Check him out at Metal Genius Joe. Guys, if you want to have a project done, if this kind of works inspiring you, go to metalgeniusjoe.com on his website. There's a home about us products, 
And uh, where's the contact button in here? How do they get a hold of you on here, Joe? Um, it under keep scrolling through the website. If you scroll down, uh, learn more. Learn more? Yep. Just click on to learn more. Then there should be the contact. Click on the more button in the right hand corner and then click on contact. There's a little form in here. You, here you fill out your name, your phone number, your email. Give them a brief message what you're looking to do and Joe will get back to you within 24 hours usually. Joe, we, we told them the who, what, when and where, but we want to know why and how did Metal Genius Joe get to where he is now creating some of this world-class artwork? Well, back around uh, 2006, 2007, I went to the Cheney, uh Tech for the adult welding fabrication program uh, to get into the iron workers to learn how to weld and all that. And after I uh, uh, graduated all that, I ended up uh, getting a life altering disease and uh, I got hurt. I couldn't leave the house and I couldn't do anything, period. So uh, to, couldn't get a job. Leaving the house was just not going to happen because I was so sick. So what I did is I started messing around with stuff in my garage as I had the welder and all that. And then I started creating uh, pieces and everything just started flowing from there. Never taken any art classes or anything like that before. Never knew I had it in me to do this type of stuff. And uh, it turned into a massive passion. And uh, actually all the large pieces you see here were all my early works that I started with. I started doing large sculpture and all that. And What year was it? Oh God. Oh six, seven, eight. Yeah. Oh, that period? Yep. That's when I started, 2007, 2008. Oh, almost 15 years ago, yeah. Yeah. So you like, I look at this like a Job experience. Like you hit rock bottom, you almost died, and thought maybe for a moment all was lost. But this spark of inspiration got you to turn this this um, talent into artwork, and you ex express yourself through artwork. And and you, now you've created uh, a name for yourself, you know, worldwide with twenty five thousand, almost thirty thousand followers on Instagram. It's a pretty cool story. Yeah, it's uh. It's, a, it's been the biggest blessing, actually. You know, when something uh, beautiful comes out of uh, something really bad. Um, I don't know, it's really helped me heal. It helped me uh, get through life. Mentally, it saved me. Uh, it's been an outlet to uh, vent all those uh, frustrations and emotions and everything. From It just changed my life. And it's kind of a weird story for me of how this all came about. You know, I never... Uh, sought out to be an artist or anything like that but it was all I can actually do to try making stuff to sell it to bring some income in because I lost everything not being able to work we had to hawk everything in the house there's no income coming in I couldn't get help so I did it myself you know to survive I started making stuff and it's been going okay I'm just trying to um, kick it up a notch more and take it to the world stage you know now that's awesome you know um, I, I uh this is my favorite scripture is Romans 8, 28. And it is God works all things for good for those that are living according to his will. And, and your, your, your Job experience, your rock bottom experience where you were out of money, out of health, out of time, thought that your, your doctor said your days were numbered. You turned it around and dragged your ass out of bed sick and started crafting artwork to make yourself feel better. And, and now that's the inspiration that's in, got you going in, in the last 15 years to create something beautiful that that you that you can share with the world and people from all over the world now are buying your buying your art products and that that's a pretty cool story hopefully somebody else out there watching is going through their rock bottom and this will lift them up you know let them know that hey uh regardless of what the docs say uh if if you have the will uh, a lot of this is, is sheer will you know uh moving forward through circumstances that uh, may have seen dire in creating something that's awesome so when you wake up today what's what's it like waking up today knowing you're doing something you want to do versus back when you were working in a career you maybe you weren't so inspired with it's fantastic um it's really surreal when i go out in my shop and i look at everything and i'm like i'm actually doing this it, it i it still hasn't even really set in you know um i'm very grateful very grateful that uh i'm able to do this and uh I don't know. <laughs> it's inspiring, bro. It really is. And uh, we're, we're, we're proud to display your artwork here. I can't tell you how many thousands of people have taken their pictures in front of the frog or the eagle. And uh, thank you for donating the eagle one of your first pieces. That was very generous. And um, I, I am uh, actually buying that 
Hammer of Thor from him today. I'm gonna to add that to my collection. I saw, I said, Joe, how much I need to have it. But uh, that's another piece that'll be on display here at the museum. And I'm sure he could build one for you if, if you ask him through his website. Give Joe a call. Um, I just, you, if you can meet with Joe and, and see his private display, or at least check out the uh, the uh, the pictures. Like, like I said, they don't do justice to the artwork that when you when you see that dragon or the octopus or some of the other really intricate pieces now how do you make these i mean you only use a few basic tools right and that that's what these are not cast they're not no. they're not um these are hand forged uh right yeah i don't have any power tool the only power tools i have in my garage is is like my a drill press and my three metabo angle grinders but everything else is done with a ball peen hammer shaping it i have an old lincoln tombstone welder and i do everything with my oxycetylene torches no plasma cutting or nothing and so, this beats you up a bit too, because you're basically hammering these objects in, yeah, into life, right? And yeah, you can't, you can't, like, you can't do an eight. How old are you, Joe? Fifty-four. Fifty-four. You're a few years younger than me, but uh, you, you um, it, it beats the crap out of, out of your hands, right? Doing that. Yeah, I'm exhausted from doing that hammer. I can't even move today, to be honest with you. So. <laughs> yeah, fourteen hours of of of, of smashing metal into. Uh, artwork is, is not like uh, sitting behind a computer for 14 hours. As, even that's tiring, but this it takes a, it takes a beat. And we'll hopefully you have many years left of creating a, awesome artwork. Looking forward to your next. I follow you on, on Instagram and uh, Facebook, and, and I'm looking forward to your next piece. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Give Joe a call. He'll make your art dreams come to reality. Thank you all for watching, and as always, God bless America.